Look, everywhere you look, everything is getting more and more expensive. And for many people, having just one job is just not enough. Heck, having even two jobs a lot of times isn't enough. So you need a side hustle. Odds are you know that already, but you're not sure which ones are the best side hustles for you, especially if you already have a full-time job and don't have a whole lot of money to help you get started. And maybe you don't want to quit that job either. So the good news is that all the side hustles I'm going to share with you in this video can be started for less than $500, most of them for free, and you don't have to quit your job to make them work. So let's look at my top five recommended side hustles to start in 2022. Now, quick disclaimer, I've done all five of these side hustles in my own life. And not only have they worked really well for me, they've worked really well for thousands and thousands of entrepreneurs that I've been fortunate enough to train all around the world. So today I'm talking to you about ways to make money that I've actually done and not some theory that I heard about. And all I ask in return is that you just hit that like button to help spread this message to more people. Now, a lot of people miss the money that's actually sitting around them. Most people have stuff they don't use, gently use clothes, cameras, furniture, electronics. And you'd be surprised at the stuff in the average person's house that they're just not using at all. So here's the question. Why don't you just take some pictures of those things and post them for sale on Facebook Marketplace, on eBay and other sites like that, for example. You can easily and quickly sell enough to make hundreds and even thousands of dollars from doing this. Now as a side hustle, this is great because it doesn't take any extra money to get started, but the challenge here is that you're probably running out of stuff to sell really quickly. And I don't want you ending up with nothing in your house, all right? So that leads us to the second side hustle, where you're gonna get stuff for free or super cheap from other people and then sell that online. This is a lot more potential to make a more sustainable income because you can keep finding stuff to sell. So you can go to garage sales, for example, flea markets and things like that, even going on a Craigslist and find things that are listed for free. Even on Facebook Marketplace, finding things that are listed for free. And even if they're not for free, just a couple of dollars extra means you're still room for profit. But one of the challenges with this kind of business, especially when you're scaling, is you need enough place to store the merchandise. But any self-storage facility that has large enough space really would be a good solution for you to be able to keep your merchandise in one place. You don't have to stack it all around your house. Now to make this really work, you're gonna to have to be really good at writing great descriptions and having great pictures. I can't tell you the amount of times that we've taken pictures that were just stock photos of an item and the product wouldn't sell. But the second we started to take some better pictures, even with iPhones, regular Android phones, it made all the difference in the world for people wanting to buy that product. So up until this point, we've only been talking about side hustles that don't really require much skill, right? You're just matching a product that someone wants with a customer. It doesn't take a lot of money or really experience to do that. You can start there right now completely for free. But it also means your upside potential is not gonna be quite as good. It'll be harder to scale up. Now the next couple of side hustles I'm gonna introduce you don't require a whole lot of money to do, but they do require a little bit more skill. But that also means they have unlimited upside. And for you, that means you can start small and go as big as you want. So side hustle number three is freelancing but specifically as a social media manager for small businesses. So think about all the businesses in your area. Chances are they don't have strong social media presence right now, but they need to because in today's world, having a great social media footprint is fantastic and it's super important. It's pretty much a must. Now you can do the marketing for these businesses and charge from a couple hundred dollars a month to thousands and thousands of dollars a month. You can actually charge a whole lot more than just a couple thousand dollars a month, depending on your skills and what you end up delivering for that business. Look, with any side hustle, the amount of income that you're able to make is gonna be a direct proportion to the amount of value you're bringing to the marketplace. A side hustle number four is creating and selling digital products. I love this particular side hustle because if you've got a certain skill or life experience that would add value to someone else, you can package that skill into a digital product and sell that over the internet. And you can do this with pretty much any niche. The information product space is actually on track to be the next trillion dollar industry in the next handful of years. And it's a phenomenal way to make money in this digital age. The fifth side hustle I recommend to start is a network marketing business. This is where you represent a company and promote their product or service. So anytime you recommend the product to someone, they actually purchase through your website and the company's gonna pay you a commission for that. But it doesn't stop there. With a good network marketing opportunity that has a great product that people want, you're gonna keep getting paid every time that customer continues to purchase that product. And that creates residual income for you. And you have the ability to really grow your sales with the help of other people. So just like in real estate where you're a broker, for example, with agents on their team selling houses, and every time that this agent sells a house, that agent gets a commission, but so does the broker. Network marketing allows you to enjoy override commissions on brand ambassadors in your team as well. So I hope this added value to you. And if it did, please let me know which one of these side hustles you want me to talk more about and get into more in depth for you by dropping a comment below.